Hello nail friends and welcome back to another video sponsored by Light Elegance. Light Elegance just launched two new products, the Ideal Pink and Ideal White, and they are ideal for doing a pink and white. And that's why I'm about to show you five different ways of doing a French using the Ideal Pink and Ideal White. So let's just jump right into it. First off, you need to start out with your prep work. On my nails, I've used Vitaprime, then I applied a thin layer of tack, and now I'm just gonna apply one step over all five fingers. This is just my preference. You do whatever prep work you are more comfortable with. And now we are gonna dig into this ideal pink. Don't worry about the bubbles. They are only there because I've been swirling around in this container, the poor guy. I've been doing a lot of videos with it. This is a pink that I got to try out maybe three or four years ago for a competition and I totally fell in love with it. I've been going on about it ever since to get Light Elegance to start selling it to you guys and woohoo, the day has come. The perfect, the ultimate, the ideal pink. Then we have the ideal white and it is a very creamy white, but still it doesn't run anywhere. It's nothing like I've ever tried out before actually and I do love it to bits and that crisp, white color is just to die for. I can't wait to show you the results with this. It is just amazing. The first French look that we're gonna dig into is the reverse using only ideal pink and ideal white. Let's start out with the ideal pink and we're gonna do a nail bed extension with this starting from the tip and working our way back to the corners. And as you can see, it covers up that natural nail beautifully and it has that perfect color to blend down into the natural nail. We're gonna go in with Builder and as you can see, Builder is a very thick gel. Uh, it doesn't go anywhere. So for this technique, uh, Builder is really good to use. So I'm gonna take a little blob and place it at the tip right over my nail bed extension and then work my way back creating a little wall and blending it back so there you can see how thick that is now we're gonna cure that and then place the rest of the gel on top of that so what we're doing is pretty much we're, we're building half of the nail so you need to kind of imagine the full nail when it's built but just do half of it so taking the 180 grit file and now we're gonna file and shape that smile line. And you really wanna make that crisp and nice going all the way into the corners. Now I'm taking my file and just file as if there would be white there just to get a sharper edge around the smile line. Taking the ideal white and applying that over the tip, going all the way into the corners. And you wanna do this in two medium thick or thin layers. So uh, this is the first layer. And now we're gonna go in with the second layer. Just make sure that you really cover that uh, smile line so you get all nice and tight all the way up to that smile line we uh, filed into. Wiping the nail and now going in with the file. Uh, I think this is the 180 grit file. And here's the most satisfying part of this video, the reveal of the French. I can't get enough of this, seriously. It's very, very, satisfying and there you have it with the apex and all i love these two colors next to each other they are seriously the ideal pink and white and doing a reverse 
with these two colors are seriously like the most beautiful combination I've ever seen. So here you have the finished result together with this super shiny and can you just look at that blend like how beautiful that pink is. The second French look we're going to try out is Ideal Pink and White together with Soft Pink Extreme. So we're going to start off just like with the first look. So Ideal Pink as a base to extend the nail bed. And now we're going to dig into Soft Pink Extreme. This one is a little bit more runny than the builder. So you need to work maybe just a teeny little bit faster. Uh, if you have soft pink builder, you can just do it exact same way as we did with the first look. Now we're building up the uh, nail bed and shaping that with a file. So instead of using builder, I just used the soft pink instead. So it's gonna create a little bit more of a pinkier look. We're adding the white in two layers, just as we did before. So everything is exactly the same as with the first look. Are we just switching the builder into the soft pink extreme? And yes, we're back to the filing part and oh, ha, ha, drool. So, so, so satisfying. And there you have the shape. Uh, make sure you cleanse it before you apply the super shiny. And there you go. So here you can see the difference. The soft pink, of course, is a little bit more pink. It is covering the nail bed a little bit more. Just the ideal pink gives that kind of a little bit more natural look maybe because you can see the lunula, lunula at the base. So the third version is gonna be a semi reverse using ideal pink and white together with clear. So if you're not a fan of reverse, this is kind of the easier way of doing it. So what I did is that I applied that pink as my nail bed extension and cured it. Then I'm applying the ideal white at the tip. And now I'm gonna take a smile line brush to create that crisp smile line. And then you wanna cure and apply a second layer. For this technique, you want to apply this a little bit thinner. So don't go as thick as you would with the reverse. So now we're going to go in with a clear. You can use whatever clear you prefer. I love working with the one step because uh, of the technique, the building technique I'm using. But you can use uh, any clear building gel that you prefer. And shaping just as usual. Cleansing all that dust off and there you have it. Gonna apply super shiny and as you can see, uh, the white doesn't come off as crisp as with the other ones because we did apply clear on top of it. The other two, we only have the white. For the fourth look, we're gonna do a semi reverse and then add soft pink extreme instead of the clear. So we're gonna do the exact same steps as with the ring finger. So we did the ideal pink as the nail bed extension and then we're taking the white, applying that in two thin layers, using the smile line brush to create our perfect smile line. And instead of using the clear over the entire nail, we're actually gonna go in with soft pink extreme and apply that over the entire nail. It's gonna give that softer look, I guess, because it's called soft pink extreme, but you get a softer, very pretty look 
uh, from this. This is one of my favorite ways of doing a French. I like it when it's just a little bit softer, but I do, I'm, you know, I'm a huge fan of their verse as well. Here you have them all lined up together. I know that the ring finger looks a little bit yellow compared to the other ones, but when you do a full set with this technique, it doesn't look yellow. It's just because it's compared to the other ones that are super crisp, especially the middle finger right there. So the fifth and final look is gonna be a reverse using the pink and white and then soft pink extreme and diamond. So this is how you use the reverse technique together with glitter gel. So we did the ideal pink as the base and then we build it up using soft pink extreme. You can use whatever gel on top that you prefer. I just went with soft pink this time. Same steps here as before, nothing new. And then we're gonna go in with the white and we're gonna apply a pretty thin layer. You still want it to cover the tip, but don't make it too thick because then if you make it too thick, you might file the glitter off later. Now we're gonna take diamond. You can of course use any glitter gel for this and any color for this. So just switch out the glitters and the colors to make a glitter French. So now I'm gonna apply that right next to the smile line and then just fade it down. I'm using one of the nail art brushes from my nail art kit called Block Brush. Last thing we're gonna do before filing is to apply some one step or whatever clear you wanna use on top just to mix and blend everything together so you get a seamless, well, it doesn't look pretty, but you know, so you don't have that gap at least. Now we're gonna file that and reveal that beautiful smile line. And there you go. So this is what it will look like when it's not shiny. And now of course we need to apply super shiny because we want this nail to sparkle. And there you have the final result for the thumb, side view. And as I said, you know, mix and match with different colors and glitters. And here you have the rest of the nails as well. Just a little disclaimer, as I was looking through the footage, I could tell that I didn't apply as much paint to the ring finger as I should have. So it's a tiny little bit transparent at the top, but that's all me. The pink is phenomenal and it covers really well, as you can see on the other nails. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got a little bit of different inspirations on how to use the ideal pink and ideal white. If you want to get your hands on these amazing products, just go to glideelegance.com if you wanna order or if you wanna find your closest distributor. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go right ahead and do that. Also, if you haven't subscribed to Light Elegance YouTube channel yet, go right ahead and do that because they also post a lot of fun tips and tricks and other product reviews. So with that said, I'm gonna leave you for now. Until next time, take care. Love you guys so much. Mwah.